Okay, previously I reviewed a audio plugin which would enhance and clean up dialogue such as spoken word or voiceovers. Again, this is the same sort of idea by another company. It's a plugin called Vox Former. It's version 2.9. It costs about £79. However, the other ver uh, the other program I'm talking about that I reviewed costs about two $250. This is about $79, much cheaper version, so let's take a look and see what you get for that sort of price. You have a preset menu at the top left. Here you can select some of the built-in presets, such as more body to your voice, in your face vocals, general vox compression, there's rap, there's whisper, telephone, deharsher, megaphone, old vinyl, and you can also create your own and save them. Such as down here, as you can see, I've created one called Pod Pre for podcast preset. You can then select if you want the equalizer to be before or after some of the other things, such as the gate and denoiser, a deesser. You can select the specs for the EQ. So for the equalizer, you can have off, default, default is, as it says, default is the one it's on when you first start the program. You then have slower, high res, 96 kilohertz, master, average or average plus, max. You can then have edit to actually adjust some of those things a little bit further. You can invert. So let's click, click one of these nodes and hit invert. As you can see, it swaps over from being up to the top to the bottom or, if, or vice versa. You then can reset from here as well. You also have... A list of presets just for the equalizer so we can adjust this equalizer then create a preset here not an overall preset just a preset for the equalizer you can reset everything from up here as well you can get to settings here you can actually change the theme of the dialogues here we have gray and red kind of a gold uh overall just red which is a bit don't really like that. Blue's okay, I guess, but then green and with a bit of yellow. Best two really are this one or this one. You then have some other options from here as well, including this button here that you can adjust even further the interface and how things work. Up here, well, here you can name the instance. At the moment, it's an unnamed instance. You can do a bypass, you hit bypass, which is the same as down here in this case, and play and you can hear what your audio sounds like originally raw without any of the Fox former effects. You can then select auto, 1x, 2x, 4x or 8x for the quality. Probably you want to stick auto at least at first. When you create or select different nodes in Equalizer, as well as dragging it around where you want and it sort of tells you on the interface here as you see top or bottom kind of the decibels and the frequency you can manually to be more precise dial it in down here so you have like say 39 hertz so you got it on that hertz you want you could put that to say two decibels you can put this to say two for the basically the Q it's called Q in other programs here you have the dynamics so we have comp 1 at the moment set to 30 you can then also enable comp 2 and adjust it and the gain let's turn that off you have presets here for vocals vocals soft vocals asym serial serial asym two band two band asym drums guitar or bass you're probably going to want vocals because if you're using this program, you're probably more likely using it, like I say, as wave arts dialogue for spoken word, podcasts, voiceovers, whatever. If you're doing stuff more with the kind of songs and music side of things, you're perhaps more likely to use one of the others, such as Nectar 2 or Nectar Elements or uh, Novel Tech, I think it's called. Um, Vo vocal enhancer they're more aimed at the song side of things 
Really, Vox Former and Dialogue both are aimed more at voiceovers, that type of thing, a little bit more, which is what I personally like about both of them. You can also adjust your input and output here with gain in, dry max, out gain, and some of your meter levels here. You can also monitor various things from there. You have a DC filter, which is a high pass filter. And you can select a drop down to turn that off or select from a few or select from a few presets. You can also hit edit as well to adjust things from here as well. So you can dial in a mount here or type in an amount such as two. Say you want this here as one of these others, you can select it here. However, I would like to see a low pass filter as well. In the other plugin I mentioned, uh, Dialog, you have a low pass and high pass filter. And I tend to set, depend on what I'm doing, I might set the low to something like 39 or 80 hertz. The other end of it to around about 11 kilohertz to just cut off a bit on each end that you don't need. This only has a high pass filter. I would like to see the low pass as well so you can do both. That is one of only two things I think is missing really in this plugin. Next you have a deesser and a gate. Now a deesser is something you do get in a lot of these plugins such as nectar elements and you can disable it here. You can have it pre as in basically turning on before the equalizer kicks in or vice versa. You can then select here basically the threshold and frequency here. You can also select if you want it normal, extreme or precise, you can hit edit to tweak things a little bit further. What I like about Voxformer is unlike Dialog, even though Dialog is more expensive, it has a gate. You can adjust a gate and why this could be handy was well, various reasons, but one reason this one reason this could be handy is or deep breath. So when you say podcasting, quite often, even though you might not hear yourself taking many breaths, the microphone really emphasizes each breath and sounds very loud and obvious and kind of ruins the sound of the audio. So you can use a gate here to actually remove or quiet, quieten down some of those breaths. Very handy for voiceover sort of things, definitely. Uh, it's very good. There is a preset here for debreath, snare, toms, I think it says. It's a bit hard to pick out. Cut off and classic. What I do is, well, I might start off with selecting debreath, but then I find that the breaths I've had in some of my audio is not reduced very much, if at all, and not taken out using the debreath preset. So what I do is I find an the uh, like a good example of a breath then manually dial it in and see what happens so about around about minus 35 i tend to work, find works quite well for me on the gate then i would recommend you listen once you've done this well what really once you've applied this whole plugin i recommend you listen to the whole of your voiceover or whatever it is to make sure that none of your words like the endings of words or the beginning of words have been cut off and, no, and there's no distortion in your audio because applying a gate can often, if it, especially if you go too far with it, mess your audio up, mess up the vocals and cut ends off of words. So get get it sounding how you think it should sound in the preview on the plugin. Once everything's done, apply it, but then make sure before you upload it anywhere, you listen to the whole thing through first. You can click edit here. And as you can see, there is a lot more control over the gate here if you really know what you're doing. There is band one, there is XO one to two. You can create a plugin as well of it here. Various other bands, mute a certain line, adjust it here as if you want it four or a cut off AB. Dial in precise stuff here for like the release time, all sorts of settings here. You can get really down into it and really adjust it. It's really customizable. Let's see, then you have your de here. 
then you have presence to add a bit more presence to say the vocals you can select here bright deep or warm or adjust the drive and gain here turn it on or off edit to get a bit more control i like how most of these uh, sections on this plugin do have edit if you really want fine control saturation here you dial in the drive and you can select classic warm crisp or D bass I tend to select warm you then at the bottom of various group solo copy to reset here as well the bottom here will look different depending upon the audio editor you're using at the moment I'm in Amadeus Pro which is a Mac only program although this plugin works on both Windows and Mac you can preview from here bypass then preview just to hear it roar without the plugins effects up here you do have your undo history to so undo history to the very start or back up a little bit at a time whatever from there which is quite uh, interesting there is a channel routing up here as well you can even select here default stereo 2.1 stereo which is basically left right and say a subwoofer then you have 5.1 surround groups 5.1 surround all channels 7.1 surround groups which is quite good it does have 7.1 and it does have 5.1 as well then you have dual mono side mid side stereo mono two stereo or force mono as i mentioned earlier it's worth selecting presets from here you can save your own presets although how you do that is from up here so it might depend upon what program you're using so what do I think about it well I would like to see as well as a high pass I would like a low pass filter added as well and what would be handy is a depload area like it has a de -esser. that is something which WaveArt Dialog has it's for if you get those kind of popping sounds and that mostly on s's and t's you're not likely to get that really if you have a pop filter but if you're not using a pop filter you may have the occasional pop in which case a depload area to get rid of some of that would be quite handy from a dialogue program such as this but those are the only two suggestions for additions i have is the low pass filter and the depload option does it work yes it does including the gate for de-breathing although you probably have to manually tune it rather than use its preset I do find with the equalizer maybe I'm just not doing things quite right but I find in dialogue I can make quite a small adjustment I can say go put in one of these nodes at 200 hertz raise it by say 5 decibels 2q and it will add a lot more of that kind of bassy professional kind of sound you expect from a professional podcast or whatever with this I find that changes are much much more subtle and it can be a little tricky at first to get that kind of sound that you're looking for so what is the main kind of selling point of this say over another one such as dialogue budget of course this is $79 versus $250. That could mean the difference between having a plug-in for your dialogue, dialogue work like this or not. Which would I pick if on a budget is really no choice. It has to be Voxforma. If money isn't really an objective, if really it comes purely down to getting the best plug-in for enhancing and cleaning up your vocals I would even though I do like Voxformer I would have to pick WaveArt Dialog over Voxformer at this time however one huge benefit to this plugin is the noise gate for deep breath in that comes in very handy so I'd recommend you download a trial of this download a trial of WaveArt's Dialog give them both a shot and find out for yourself what works best so thanks for watching please like and share this video if you could also please subscribe to my channel it only takes a few seconds and will help me out a lot thanks